Okay. So when it comes to distal RTA, let's work through this whole process again. Number one, what would happen to your urine and ion gap? I told you, who is the master acid secretor? It's your distal. If you take this guy out, are you going to secrete H plus? No, you're not going to be able to secrete H plus in the urine, right? So if you don't secrete H plus in the urine, you will not form ammonium. And if you don't form ammonium, it will not bind to chloride. If you don't bind to chloride, what would your chloride be? Would be low. So even though your blood is acidic, what you expect your body to do is eliminate chloride in the form of ammonium chloride, but it will not do it. Now, number four is going to be your urine pH. Now, who's the master? If your blood is acidic, I don't care how acidic your blood gets, okay? If your master cannot secrete H+, no matter how much H+, you got swimming in your bloodstream, you will not be able to secrete H+, in your urine. So would your urine be acidic? No, it will not be acidic. Here, despite your blood being acidic, your urine will be alkaline. This is the only time you'll have a urine that is actually alkaline. So your urine pH here should be greater than 6.5, okay? It'll be high. Your urine pH will be elevated to greater than 